The new Newell CX3500 comes pre-programmed with either 8 or 200 PLUs. In this tutorial I will show you how to add more PLUs to the cache register as well as remove unwanted PLUs. To begin programming, press Shift followed by Cache. Scroll up to Program Mode followed by Cache. Scroll down to the PLU key and enter the hash no sale key to enter. We'll use a subtotal key to go to the end of the records. In this case, our last record is number 8. To create a new PLU number, we first need to get out of the name or the text field. We'll scroll down to the first price level. Enter the number 9, followed by the no sale key. This will create our new PLU number. Scrolling back up now into the text field, we can now create our product name. Press cache to commit and then enter a price for it. Now it's very important when we create new PLUs we also need to assign a department number to it. In this case we'll just give it department number one. Press cache to commit. If there is a GST component and there is a tutorial on this we can just select one for 10% or zero for no GST want to commit that. Scroll back up now to price number 2. This time we're going to create another PLU, PLU number 10. So start by keying in the number 10 followed by the hash no sale. Now you'll notice that number 10 has now become PLU. We go back up to the name field and create a name for this and press cash. We can give it a price Scroll down to the department field and press cache. Now, at this point, if we decide that we no longer want this PLU, press void, we'll be prompted to delete. By accepting, we press cache, and that will remove PLU number 10 from the register. Pressing the subtotal key now will take us to all the uh, PLUs that we have in the register, and number 10 is not in there. Once you've completed programming, Press the hash no sale key to exit. Press shift cache to exit the mode. Scroll down to register, followed by cache, and now you're back in the transaction screen.